Is it possible to grow 15 foot hops plants in pots only five feet tall? It sure is folks. You don't need an 18 or 20 foot trellis to grow hops. And if you don't believe me, at the end of this video, I'm gonna put a collage together showing the plants that I've grown in pots only five or six feet tall full of cones, both in our grow room with LED and outside. And today we're gonna show you just how we do it. Max Raphael here, folks, with Hops World tip number 34, how to grow 15 foot hops plants in pots. Let's do it. Hey friends, I'm glad you could be with me. Today we are going to show you how we are going to take this hops plant, it's planted in a vase, and set it up to grow 15 feet, but only in five and a half feet of height. Believe it or not, that's what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is show you the materials and the tools that you're going to need if you want to do this project. Obviously, the first thing is your plant we started this plant a few weeks ago from a small plant in this bigger pot and she's grown about five and a half feet. So now's the time to train her to grow 15 feet. The first things you're gonna need is four pieces of thin bamboo. You got these at Home Depot. There is bamboo growing around. You might get a friend to let you cut some. Down in Brazil, we get it cut, it's real cheap. And these are about five, five and a half feet. You can go six feet on these if you want. The second thing that we use are zip ties. A dozen zip ties, 12 zip ties. Little short ones are fine. They don't have to be too thick or too strong. If you don't have zip ties, you can't get away with using some string and tape. I've done that before. When I first started, I used to tape these things together. Zip types are a lot neater, a little bit easier to work with. Third, you're gonna need string, obviously. I like to use this twine. It's really rough. It's almost like a cocoa twine that they actually use in the hop yards because hops like to grab on to a rough string. A real thin nylon string won't work. Yarn would probably work pretty good. You can get yarn very easily. Now, I did label this string. Every five feet, I put little tags, five, 10, 15, just so we can actually show you today and also follow the growth of the plant as it grows up the trellis. Now, the tools that we're gonna need, real simple. A pair of regular pliers, a pair of needle nose pliers, and some cutters. These needle nose pliers actually have cutters. You have to be cutters strong enough to cut the wire, just in case you need to cut the wire. Drill with a quarter inch drill bit. Now you could probably use a knife and make a hole or an awl if you have it, something real sharp and pointy. This is to drill holes in the plastic in your base. So a pointy knife will do it too. This just makes it a little bit easier. Now the one thing I left out that you're going to need is the trellis. You say trellis? Yes, trellis. This is a piece of wire that comes in a roll. We had already bent this, but uh, I used it for something else, but we're going to reuse it. It'll work perfect. You need a nice strong wire about the thickness of a coat hanger. It will stay nice and straight, but that you can bend fairly easily. This is the really framework of our trellis to make this plant grow 15 feet. And that's what you're gonna need, the materials and the tools, it's pretty simple. So, the first thing we're gonna do is start with this wire, which is our trellis, and I'm gonna show you how we need to bend this. 
Basically what we do, this wire needs to be about 130 centimeters or five foot four inches, or four foot four inches rather, because we're gonna bend these in about foot long sections to make a square. It could be 10 inches, they could be 14 inches. It's not so important, but we want a nice, more or less square. It doesn't have to be perfect, so I kind of just bend these by hand. It's no big deal. So the easiest thing for me to do is bend it right in half, okay, more or less. But then when I bend these, I want to actually bend it so it comes all the way around and creates a 90 degree angle and leaves this little circle or loop on the outside of our square here, our angle. So this is gonna be two sides of our square. We're gonna come down here and do another bend the same way. So to have a piece coming straight down and have this loop on the outside. So we're gonna bend it up and easily bring it back around. And if we pull it tight, we can get that loop nice and small like so, and then straighten it back out. So you have on, three sides now of our square. Now we need to bend here, make this loop, bend this way and come back around over to close out our square. So that's what I'm gonna do. Back around. I try to make these as nice and square as possible, but it's not real important if they're not perfect. So, there we have it. Straighten this out a little. Looking pretty good. It's better than the last one I made, okay? So we have three loops on the outside and we have this. Now the idea here is I'm gonna close this real tight around here and then make a loop out here on the outside just like this, so that this will stay closed. I might just make this loop first, it might be easier. Now when you only have little pieces on the ends here, it definitely makes it harder to bend. So I made that little loop and I'm gonna put this through here and bend this around and close it out. I did pretty good by my hands without using the pliers. But I'm gonna use the pliers now just to cut this extra piece off. So sometimes I actually use the pliers here to bend these because they get really small and they're really hard. There she is. Our little square chalice is gonna keep this plant secure so it can grow 15 feet tall. The next part we're going to do is to actually get the pot prepared to put the bamboos in the pot. So now we're going to show you that. So friends, the idea here is for us to take each bamboo and stick it inside the vase alongside the edge of the vase or the pot and push it all the way down to the bottom. And then to make two holes in the side of the vase so we can stick our zip tie inside and then around to secure this bamboo and back out and then to pull it tight. And this bamboo will be very secure. As is, it's really floating around. So we're going to do that now in four locations. One here, one directly opposite and then two at 90 degrees, so there's four quadrants, and the bamboos are equally spaced around the vase. So we're gonna do that now, let's do it. So now, we just cut off the four ends of the zip ties to make it neater.
Okay, folks, so we have the four bamboo well secured to our base. I really like how secure they are. And the next thing to do is put our trellis on top attached to these four bamboo. So our trellis being good old wire that we bent earlier into a square with the four loops in the corners. And what I did here, I attached one already. I put a double zip tie. And I'll show you how I do it. In this corner, I actually put a zip tie that's going to attach to the trellis or the wire. And then through that, I put another zip tie. And I just leave it attached. And I tighten this one up. I don't tighten it tight, tight all the way because I might have to adjust it a little, but at the end, we'll definitely tighten it up. And I leave that zip tie like that. I do that in all four corners. That way I have this second zip tie that I can attach and wrap around the bamboo when I put the bamboo through each hole in the corner of this trellis. So we're going to do that. We're going to attach these four zip ties and then we're going to attach it to the top of the trellis. Okay, so we have our four bamboos here. And the idea is to slip each bamboo through the loop in the wire and then with this spare zip tie that's not closed we wrap it around the bamboo and we give it a pull and we pull that tight on all four corners so we'll attach all four corners and show you how it looks when we're done So here we are, nice and firm. I really like it, the way it turned out. And now we have to connect our string. Okay folks, so what we do now is we attach the string. And how I do that is basically I tie a knot on one of the bamboo and then I start wrapping in a spiral and working my way up this spiral to the top where I tie tightly. Now, what I usually do, I always do, is I try to pick a spot where the plant is coming out of the ground closest to the edge, which would probably be here and or here. And I tie my string here first. I start up probably about eight or 10 inches above the soil, maybe even a foot because I want this plant to come straight out of the ground and then start spiraling. If I start spiraling right away down at the ground, it gets too bushy and it really attracts spider mites. You don't want spider mites. So, I'm going to start actually over here on this side. And tie my string. So simply as I go, I start working upward, I wrap around that bamboo and I give one extra wrap and pull it tight. I come around the next bamboo, give a wrap. Next bamboo, give a wrap. It goes pretty quickly. When I get back to where I started, I not only give a wrap, but I actually make a little knot. What that does is, keeps the bamboo nice and tight for these first four lengths. And you can see how it's spiraling upward. Now I'll continue the rest of the way up until I get to the top. Well, something I forgot to mention is the plan itself. I actually untied these last two posts. I pulled out the bamboo and laid the plant down outside of the center here. So it's much easier when I go to wrap this plant up these first sections of twine. So don't forget that, okay? Now I'm going to continue wrapping the twine 
just like I started, up the bamboo. Every time I get to this fourth one, I'm gonna make a knot and make sure they're all nice and tight. Like so. And continue on up. Okay, so we have the string all wrapped and tied at the top of our little trellis and structure here. We are about 17 feet from here. We have about another at least six or eight inches. We're gonna fill this pot with some more dirt. So we'll go with 17 feet. We'll see how tall she actually gets. Now, this is tricky because you don't wanna break the tip off. You might want to do this when your plant's a little bit shorter. I kind of waited on this one. This plant really took off. So I go around and I start wrapping and training the plant. This first part's really hard, but after we get this on here, it won't be nearly as difficult. So we went around the string once the hops always goes around the string the same way around the world in a counterclockwise direction as it's going up. With this real long stem in front here, it's rather difficult. But I'm going to continue to wrap this the rest of the way with one or two more loops here. And she'll be ready to go. So here you go. Here's our pot or vase. As you can see, we have our zip ties holding the bamboo that goes down into the dirt into the bottom of the pot. On the outside, our zip tie again, tightly holding our bamboo. Our plant is coming out of the ground right here, and it goes up onto our string. Our string comes around, wraps around this first post, bamboo, comes up, wraps around the second, goes up to the third, and keeps going up to the fourth. And our plant does the same thing. Comes up, wraps around, continues till it gets up to here. We're up to five feet here. We continue up. Our 10 foot mark is actually right here in the corner. Hard to see. Keep going. We're up to 15 feet here. And we get to the top. We have another two feet or so. And the strings finally tied on in this corner. We can clearly see here how we attached one of our zip ties to the metal frame and the other one to the bamboo. And then our twine that the plant's going to travel up. So there she is, folks. A mini trellis. So your hops plant can grow 15, 16 feet tall and only five or six feet of height. Now, one thing you can do is actually spread this out. You can make it higher. There's no problem making this thing another foot taller, if you'd like, and spreading this, making it a lot bigger. If you're gonna plant outdoors, I would suggest it, but we're doing an indoor grow. This plant's gonna be back in the grow room shortly.
Okay, so here is a plant that we just trained. You can see she's going to have to get used to the light. We just put her back here in the grow room and we keep the bamboo and wire trellis rather small so that the other plants can fit. If we're growing outside, we could definitely go larger. Now this plant here, we put in here about a week ago and we trained and I want to show you what you're going to have to do every few days, every three or four days, maximum a week. But uh, you should be checking your plants every day. As you can see, we put this in here a week ago and the sprout, the main largest one that came up here, it actually wrapped right here around the bamboo. So we don't want that to go up. We need that to go diagonal. It's going up, but a lot more slowly, slowly along the string. So simply we unwrap it from here and wrap it around the string. And then it's going to grow a little more and we'll help it around the corner and it'll want to come up this bamboo. And if we have to, we'll unwrap it and wrap it around the string and let it work its way up all 17 feet of our mini trellis. So we'll show you how to do that. So as we can see here, the plant is has three wraps around the bamboo in four or five days. It was over here and now it's going upward. We need it to go along the twine. So simply we're going to unwrap it very gently and rewrap it around the twine. Ta da! Yeah, and she's going to keep trying to turn. May make it up to this bamboo, but we'll probably do the same thing and go up this bamboo. And we need to just train it to keep it going. We need to check back on the other tip. It's right here. It's not going anywhere yet, but it will start kicking. We just transplanted this. And any other tips as they come up, they're going to want to jump up these bamboos. So we need to keep training these every two or three days. We're going to water these plants and look at them every day. So it's no big deal. This thing will go up to 15 feet, believe it or not. So now you know how we do it. If you follow along on our vlog weekly, you can watch our plants grow, but you can do it yourself at home. I'd love to see some of your plants this spring planted in pots the same way we do it. Thank you for being with me. If you liked our video, please put a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. I'm going to leave you with a quick little video of some of the pictures of the plants that we've grown here in our grow room and also plants that I grew in Brazil a couple years ago in vases and pots with the same way with a spiral, 15 to 18 foot plants, but only five or six feet tall, full of the most delicious cones. And yes, we did test them. Four of the plants that we grew in pots the first year in Brazil, we sent to a lab in the United States to have tested. And the alpha acids in each variety were super high, including Columbus at like 19 or 20%. So let's see your plants this spring grown in pots. There's no excuses, folks. Thanks for being with me. Cheers to life. So folks, here are some of the videos and pictures from my past grows. This first video is of plants that are about five feet tall and 15 to 18 feet long, all burrowing up. Some have cones. This is in our grow room using Blurple LED lights, full spectrum, Viper Spectra 600 watt LED lights. The last two pictures of plants that I grew in Sao Paulo back in 2016 and these plants were in pots or vases. They're actually in clothes baskets, a little bit bigger than the pots I'm using now. When I grow outside, I go a little bit bigger. And these plants were full of cones. They really were beautiful. They flowered. And I really love them. If you like, please hit like and subscribe to our channel, Hops World. Thanks for being with us, folks. 
Cheers to life.